Hello, welcome back to another series of 10 interesting facts. Today we will indulge in a rather very important topic as it provides meaning and reason to events which occurred. The topic covers a list of reasons linked with ancient empires, can you guess what it could be? The leaders, their characteristics and thought processes serve as a major factor in the discussion of this topic. We will dive into facts pertaining to 10 reasons why great ancient empires fell. Interesting facts such as incidents or decisions made will be the highlight for today, so let's start. Number 1. Poor leadership. Leadership is more than a word itself, it is a position of character and relationship of unmatched bond with the people of the nation. Unfortunately some individuals perceived a different definition of leadership, which was not in the favor for a prosperous empire to thrive. This not so meaningful definition revolved around power, going to extreme and maybe unfavorable lengths to achieve self-required targets and not being concerned about the need of the nation. An example of such a case is in the Roman Empire. Diocletian and Constantine I are a prime example of two leaders who sowed the seeds of collapse. These emperors split the army into border and mobile components. The border troops turned into soldier farmers and declined rapidly in efficiency, despite consistent payments. Diocletian and Constantine's behavior resulted in the introduction of barbarians which resulted in poor fighting efficiency. Poor military and political decisions put a hard time on lard owners and resulted in a downfall. Number 2. Lack of advancement. The world is never the same every day as constant evolution in learning and practical implementation is a source of advancements. It is natural to assume that for a nation, empire or even an individual to prosper it is critical to be alert of advancements, which when neglected can be a source of severe misery. As surprising as it may sound, the Persian Empire is a prime example of such a situation. Although known as one of the most powerful and leading empires, a downfall occurred when the power of advancement was neglected. This scenario was the source of not being able to follow up with scientific progress resulting in reduced weapon production, resulting in unfavorable security issues leading to a chain of problems which resulted in the collapse. Number 3. Diminishing of territories. It is known that empires which were strong and influential were excellent at acquiring new territories or colonies. The art of stretching the landmass of the empire from every angle was done to boost economic performance, have more access to natural resources and manpower. Battles and taking over were the major sources of setting territories and colonies which in most cases was successful by giant powers. It is clear that more territory means more power but it is equally important to maintain which some empires did not think much of, an example, the British Empire. The British Empire was known to have colonies stretching across all continents of the world, how impressive. But that was not for long, as by 1979, the territories had shrunk by a prominent size. This was mainly due to revolts, colonies demanding for freedom and the partition. Eventually this led to the British Empire losing its influence and power over various people and their colonies. Number 4. No proper succession. As per a grand and powerful ruling body, it is crucial to choose the right person to succeed, the heir. The heir is he or she who will take over and manage matters in the most realistic and efficient way without creating harm or hurdle. Making the right choice of who to choose for this position can make or break an empire, which to mention when not taken seriously has resulted in a collapse. A prime situation of such a case is in the Mongolian Empire. After the demise of the most well-known leader, Genghis Khan, there were signs which eventually turned into realities of the collapse. While one of his sons was selected to rule, the others were selected to sub-rule in smaller and less influential positions. Unfortunately, the intentions of the absolute ruler with the concoction of jealousy by the sub-rulers resulted in a mismatch and eventual fall of the empire. Number 5. Overtaking. Empires are on the constant search to acquire land, territories and resources for these factors serve as a binding for strength and prestige. When sustaining such roles, the empires are strong and have little fear of problems which could make their people or economy suffer. On the other hand, when a leader underestimates the power of other empires or ignores the signs of overtaking, a collapse is likely to happen. The Second French Empire fell victim to overtaking by the German army. Such devastating incidents are a prime example for future leaders to learn from their predecessors. Apart from the Second French Empire there are multiple cases where overtaking has been the primary source of collapse. 
Number 6. Failed Attempts. An empire which wants to grow and conquer will always brainstorm ideas and tactics which can be a source of strength and serve as a binding force for protection. Such measures include attempts of various initiatives such as engaging in war, building mass destruction weapons or increasing the size of the army. The Persian Empire faced a major failed attempt of attempting to invade Greece. The negative outcomes among many included the heavy cost of defense and land depletion, leading to heavier taxation among Persia's subjects. Among this many other failed attempts of land conquering and revolting were not successful which hurt the empire and its sovereignty. Number 7. Dutch-Portuguese War. A beneficial treaty with Spain resulted in the Portuguese Empire to have a high status in the Indian Ocean. However, there was an unexpected turn of events by the Netherlands occupying major land and space belonging to the Portuguese Empire in Asia, which meant now the powerful status was shifted. Number 8. Religious Feuds. There are many empires which had communities of people following more than one or different sect of religion. Some European empires had different sects of Christianity observed such as Orthodox and Protestantism. The Mughal Empire was known to be home to communities following Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism and Sikhism. There were times when there was religious harmony but unfortunately that did not last for a long time. Religious feuds commenced when the Mughal Empire experienced cracks and shatters which landed the empire into the hands of the Marathas. Soon there were multiple wars such as Mughal Maratha, Anglo Mysore, Anglo Maratha, Maratha Mysore, and the Third Anglo Maratha War. These wars eventually led to the intervention of the British and then the partition. The partition is a prime scenario of religious feuds, primarily between Muslims and Hindus who spread bloodshed while becoming independent states, Pakistan and India. Number 9. Division of the Greek Empire. Once a dominant civilization, the Greeks represented a dominant community in the Mediterranean. Unfortunately the Greeks also faced a disappointing collapse especially when the Romans took over. When the most favored leader, Alexander the Great, passed away, there were multiple issues which arose including the huge gap in power. His generals were distributed areas to govern and look after which did not turn out to be a productive decision. The generals would argue with each other which eventually led to political divisions. The division and cracks in the empire served as a prominent reason for the collapse as the Romans took advantage of the unity and took over. Number 10. Lack of influence. The Qing dynasty was one of most powerful dynasties in Asia for centuries. Although they thought of themselves as strong and powerful, they underestimated technology advances. While the Western world introduced plenty of devices, technologies and solutions, the Qing dynasty felt no urge or curiosity to know what the rest of the world was evolving into. The matter grew worse when top officials and leaders realized it was too late to take action as the West became so advanced in knowledge, practices and technology that they in fact felt threatened with their old customs and practices. As we explore the defeats, problems and losses faced by the grand empires of history we can determine various reasons and conclusions. It is certain that forever was not in any empire's dictionary and the collapse has proved that. Although it may seem as power can be obtained and executed till the end, this was proven not to be the case. A common issue faced by all empires who faced hurdles if not a collapse was when they lost a true leader. Alexander the Great, Akbar the Great and Genghis Khan are personalities which have shifted history and leadership in various ways. Historic events of losses have served as lessons for the future states and nations to learn and leverage. While no major empires exist in the 21st century, the mega-giants such as USA and China have many wise points to acquire from history to avoid any major failures or losses that could be potential.